the Old Testament, so the Jews believe that every story in the Bible it's not necessarily that did it mean this or that, but every story has three different meanings. Like there's the literal meaning, which was true, but there's a deeper meaning and there's a life. So they, they believe that every story has three different meanings. There's a deeper meaning and then there's an application meaning. So then one of the meanings of the wheel, the wheel within the wheel is that it's not, I say when we think of a wheel of the wheel, we're thinking about or when the Western culture thinks of haters hey, will within the will, we're thinking about, okay, what does it look like? But some say that we're supposed to think of what is the function of it. It's like it's not, it does have nothing to do with what it looks like. So the example they gave was if you're walking, you're on a journey, and you walk somewhere, and you pass a tree. And so you pass the tree, and if we pass a tree, we see a tree, now we passed it, we don't think about it anymore. It's in the past, it's forgotten. The tree's not in our sight anymore, so the tree doesn't exist anymore. So, but the, but then, but the way God works is that he, you see a tree, if you don't notice it, he'll put a, the tree there again. And every time you walk by the tree, now you notice the tree. And then maybe a mile later, the tree will be there again. And now you notice, okay, the tree has brown bark. Oh, that tree has fruit. So every time you see the tree, you notice something different, and it's a cycle. So they're saying God works in cycles. So every time you see something, he, he does it again. He cycles through until you take notice. So like if you look at the story of Moses with the burning bush, Moses saw the bush, but God didn't speak to him until he stopped and went over to the bush. So if he had kept going, God may not have spoke to him. So Moses stopped where he was going and took notice of the bush. He went out. He didn't just say, oh, look, that bush is on fire. He stopped and went towards the bush. So God spoke to Moses when he diverted his path and went towards the bush. So, so sometimes God you know, will be on our path. And God will do something to give us a sign to interrupt us, but we may or may not pay attention. And so we need to, he tries to interrupt us, but we need to reroute ourselves to pay attention to it. And so kind of the sermon this Sunday was talking about how God is trying to reroute us to our destiny. Uh -huh. You know, so it's like a GPS when you turn the wrong way. You know, it says rerouting. So it's like God is trying to interrupt us sometimes to get us back on the right track. But if we don't focus, if we're not watching for God's signs, then we'll just keep on our path. But the way he works in cycles, he'll keep putting it back. And so it, said, uh, so it talks about how God operates in cycles. So like the earth, it rotates around its axis. But then the earth also rotates around the sun. Mm -hmm. But then, then our whole solar system, though, it orbits around the center of the Milky Way galaxy. So there's cycles within a cycle within a cycle. And so they point out the fact that God works in cycles. And so if you, if you mess up the inner cycle, then you'll mess up the outer cycle. And it, that's how God teaches us. So if we have a test and we don't pass it, then we get to test again. If we don't pass it, we get to test again until we pass it. And that's the cycle God works in. So the wills are emphasizing God works in cycles. Mm -hmm. So each stage <coughs> of life and each assignment, you have a, you're in a different cycle. And so until you focus and learn what you need to learn in that point, then the cycle can be broken. Once you learn what you need to learn, then the cycle can be broken. And uh, so God is sometimes trying to get you off course to focus on what he wants you to focus on. So we need to make sure we look at the burning bushes in our lives and focus on them. And we need to notice what cycle we're in. So if we notice what cycles we're in, then we can redirect our lives. 
So try to figure out what is God telling you. What is God telling you? 